Hello, welcome back to Mario Rescues the Golden Mushroom. I am not Mario, but I'm playing as Mario. I'm the dog. And we're on Lava Mountain 5 tilde 3 again. Um, however, if you notice, and I noticed, I didn't realize this before. And I have no idea what that level is. But see how it says Lava Mountain 5 tilde 3, and then this little keyhole? I don't know if it showed up because I found the keyhole or it showed up because there is a keyhole. But anyway, we already know there's a keyhole. We need to get past the keyhole and just do this the normal way. Which is fine with me. I don't know why. I, I, I don't think I could do that again going underneath the fire or like that. Uh, I don't exactly know why uh, it said me that way. I'm a little cranky at that little dude, but I'm gonna rush through this because I am way too fast for my own good. And we're gonna get past all this stuff. Get killed by a row. I'm gonna go past here. Oh, nope. See? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, stay there for a second. Get past this guy. See, everything's fine. We're just gonna get exactly to where we were. Stay away from Fire Bro. Fire Bro's annoying. Let him kill me. See, look how I'm already at the midpoint. Look how I could do this in my sleep. I could be sleeping right now, and you'd never know. I mean, besides the talking and the me commenting what's going on screen, you would have no idea if I was asleep because I'm the best. Now, we've talked about many things. We've talked about me getting a new job. We've talked about me, sort of, what I'm doing with the series. Basically, all my series are going to be played in full. And if I can upload them after I steal, um, which means it will take it out there. So the piece switch. Hey, look, that's so exciting. We're looking for that here today. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that just so I can hear that delicious piece switch music and make it all quiet. Um, basically, uh, basically that, I, I can't, and I'm still saying basically. I need to like take a shot every time I say basically. You, I, you won't be sober. Um. I want to do long form series, but I know long form series don't do well because I tend to not finish them. At least back when I did this, I tended to not finish them very often. And so instead, I'm thinking, okay, what if I take my long form series like Mario or Punch Out or Donkey Kong or whatever, and I do them specifically all at once? And then, even though the, the videos will be like very long. Not long, very like long time between me recording and uploading. At least they're all done to where I can have like a big old block of stuff. So like for example, if my theory is done correct, uh, when I this is great music too. Um, when I finish this, basically, annoying. Basically, uh, I oh my god, I'm I just need to, I'm restarting over. <laughs> I did, I did, I'm not able to talk or do anything, apparently, this episode. Uh, the episode where I stutter. Uh, there we go. So, what was I saying? So, my theory is, if I did this correct, and I did this entire series, and you're currently seeing it right now, wow, um, I should be starting another series. Now, technically, there is one that I've started already, I just don't want to do anything with it because it's a series that is quite difficult to do in YouTube, and that is Pokemon. Here's why Pokemon is difficult, and I've probably talked about this before. Um, wow, that was bad. Um, so, it's difficult because, long story short, if you get stuck grinding on like an area, like let's say I get to the third gym, and it's tremendously hard. My, my uh, Pokemon are under level. Uh, it's basically. And dang it, I said that again. Oh, Jesus. It's, it's hard to just grind and make it fun to watch. Like, this isn't fun to watch, I agree to that, but this is just me rambling onto a screen while I play Mario, because, you know what? Why not? I don't. Oh, I almost. Ooh, you see that? I almost saved myself into a death. Um, the Pokemon, I would need to grind off camera, and you're probably like, yeah, you could grind off camera, that wouldn't be hard, because we wouldn't have to watch it. You're like, yeah, but then I have, like, Pokemon evolving off screen, and that's kind of fun to watch, and, like, I 
just, I wouldn't find it comfortable, thank you. I would find it not satisfying, and I would appreciate if, hello, I would appreciate if we did not have any more hammer bros show up. And hey, look, it's a hammer bro. And, hello? Okay. Oh, dang it, and I was all the way back here. That's okay. We'll save when we get closer, because apparently I forgot to. No, no, I need, I need to kill him. I need to kill him. See, this is what happens when I save at the wrong time. Oh, we're gonna just reset it. There we go. Now I can save here, and we can hopefully, there we go, ride this to victory. Now, where do I go from here? Oh, I thought I'd go on that too. Dang it, what? I hate Hammer Bros with a burning passion. They are annoying to play against. Hold on, hold on, we got this. Gotta use some trickery, see? Uh, that was some trickery. Sometimes you gotta use it to get past those hammer bars. And, see, look. Six minutes in. Okay, so right now, I am coming to you from the future because I had to re-record everything that goes on since then. The final episode, as you can see, was really long, so I shortened it some, and also I lost all my audio for the second half of it. I don't know why, I don't know how it happened, but I did. And so therefore, you have future Donnie here, uh, future the dog, uh, w basically watching this along with you. Um, I had to speed up everything because this was just an auto scroll level, which I really did enjoy. It was really nice. You could see, I don't think, did I die once? I don't even think I died getting to Bowser. Um, but I wanted to make sure, because this was the finale, and it was the only thing keeping me from releasing this series. I really wanted to finish this out so I can go ahead and start something else. You can see right here, there was a mini boss that was uh, those Hammer Bros, which I hate. We all know I hate those. Um, but basically, I really needed to just get this to work. Now, if you know the end of uh, Super Mario World, they always have these doors that you can go through that has different things to do. I don't know what each of those number or symbols were that might have been like Chinese or Japanese or something. I don't know. But, um, long story short, I was really happy that I got to actually try again at doing this, and I really, really, really wanted to make sure I recorded something so that way it wasn't just me just... It wasn't just you watching this with no sound and everything, like I still need to put some music to it because if I just kept the music in right now, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been very good because it would have been all sped up and weird and gross and I didn't want to give you a 20 minute episode of just sound effects, that isn't fun, I mean none of it's fun, you can see it glitched out right there, um, so like it was easy to get past, uh, I wonder if it glitches out again when I go, actually I think it, never mind, it's not even a part of it. Uh, those little spiky things I dealt with and I hated stopping for them. I think this jump, yeah, it took me a second. It took me a second to get through that one, but I had to time it and then I got through it and everything was great. Um, I wanted to make sure to say, uh, if you have been watching this, the, the, uh, the zero or one person that I probably watches this, uh, I appreciate it. The, I got about 14 episodes done and it took me <laughs> too long because there was like a three month break, break in between. Now here's uh, Bowser. Bowser, you need to take these Goombas that kept spitting out of that tiny pipe at the top, and you needed to somehow throw it to him. And every time you hit him with it, hit him with a Goomba, the uh, his he got stronger. Like you can see, those fireballs right there were the most annoying thing. The way they arced up. The good part about it was, if he goes high enough, they arc and they just don't come back. They like lose uh, their sprite and everything. Um, as you can see right there, that was dumb because I like I threw the Goomba and it got stuck on his thing. You see right there, it happened again. Uh, but long story short, is I really wanted in the fireballs was probably the e easier than the, the other fireballs. Um, I wanted to just say thank you if you've been watching this. Uh, I'm going to attempt, because right now, technically, we're on Christmas break. I'm going to attempt to do one more series and see if I can pop this, uh, pop that and get that done with. Uh, if I can, it would be very appreciative. Now... We are done with the speed it up, and you can see that I have finished beating Bowser, and now I'm actually going through the pipe. This was Mario. Now your Bowser has been, and now the Bowser being me, it's time to retrieve the golden mushroom. I said Mario. It's him talking. Um, there it is, the golden mushroom. Look at that mushroom. It's very gold, and it's very mush. Just saying. And basically, after Mario retrieved the golden mushroom, he went back through each of the five worlds. 
man, I didn't notice that Nicola wasn't paying attention. When it said he went back through each of the five worlds. Oh, it followed him during the entire trip to the house. When Mario finally arrived at the house, the mushroom disappeared and a pipe appeared in front of him. So the mushroom made this pipe appear. Mario had entered it and he was taken back to the Mushroom Kingdom with the very pretty mushroom music of Super Mario Bros. 3. After walking around for a bit, Peach appeared in front of him. He just magically appeared. She just poofed and was there. She asked Mario, where have you been? I'm not going to try to do a voice for Peach. I can't do a high enough voice for that. Mario replied, I was walking around, a pipe appeared in front of me, it took me to an island, and Bowser was there, or had been there. I think I made that same mistake when I read it first. When I finally retrieved the golden mushroom, a pipe appeared, and it took me back to here. Peach, so that mu so that's what happened. Let's go to my castle. And now it was cool, because it lets me walk through all the credits and everything. So, during this entire thing, I was reading through all the credits names and everyone. Because, you know, a lot of people made this really nice... Uh, <laughs> Mirio. A lot of people made this really nice, um... Hack. I really enjoyed this hack, by the way. I found that it was... The music was great, although it was very loud at some points. I did try to fix that in post, aka when I edited I turned down the music. Um, the sprites were really good. There was only a couple sprite mistakes, but that happens with these hacks. That's the big thing about these compared to, uh, compared to doing the, uh, doing Mario Maker. These can come up with different themes. So, like, for example, the cherry blossoms. That cherry blossom was, like, my favorite. I don't know if that was custom made or how that was made or anything, but I really enjoy, like, the certain aesthetic that you can get out of these. Moose, I think I was looking at Moose there. Moose is a wrestler, if you don't know I like wrestling. Uh, Pink Gold Peach, that is a Mario Kart character. Um, I keep saying um a lot. I'm trying to find ways to talk about this. Uh, this was the Spooky Swamp, I remember the swamp. But look, all these people, they put so many, you can see how many people put effort into this. And make this something that they really, really want to get done. And I, I enjoy, I enjoy, like, the home aspect of this, the home brew, the, like, kind of like you baked a pie. Yeah, you could go and buy a pie, and pies are, and go to a culinary school, but, and, like, get pies made from a bunch of students. But, like, if you have a homemade, just tried it themselves pie, it was great. Now, that is basically the end, and I just wanted to say thank you, and maybe next time you will see me again, and maybe I'll be in a different hack. So other than that, um, I don't know. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for watching.